Hey, it's me, Tasha C, and in this video, I will be reviewing blood, uh, blood, sweat, and heels. Sorry, I just finished not too long ago doing the video for Real Housewife Atlanta, and both shows, you know, next Sunday, we're going to have reruns. They don't come back until week after next February the 9th, okay? So, we, you know, still, if some things that I was missing, you know, if y'all seen uh, that show and how, how much was so much going on and unless you keep repeating or you're able to catch on you know like all little stuff going on that 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 right there okay <laughs> anyways y'all so and thank y'all for, for, for watching thank you all the those of new subbies my youtube buddies thank you all the love support that i've been getting and everything and thank y'all i've I can never say that so I can, I, I can never stop saying thank you for all the love and support. I love y'all. So let's get into this thing, okay? Now, the ladies are dealing with the aftermath of also make, uh, Micah with a coochie print showing and, you know, um, uh, this before. Kind of like, you know, this might have been the scenes of some of the last videos she had when she, when video bitches actually used to mean something when they got that, with that dough, when they actually used to have some. You know, they you could actually make a nice career with doing that, okay? So, um, you got the next day, you know, I am trying to avoid saying Daisy's, you know, new name. Okay, I will get back to it. Well, really, she didn't do too much, but I will be bringing it back up after I talk about the, the prayer thing. So, I don't know about y'all, but not to talk about anybody's fashion, because I don't be up, should be talking about nobody myself. But then kind of with that gene, was the gene collar that Miss Daisy had, because it would turn out Melissa and Micah end up, I guess, going the day after, supposedly, um, with, with this stuff, um, after the whole thing last night. Make, Micah missed it. She doesn't want to call, you know, that the door was open, she go cat bang, and Melissa just had a hangover work the next day. So they're over here doing, like, a swap party, you know, which is, I think even Daisy had pointed out that she has in the books, like, you know, you know, sometimes you you could just sit here and swap with your girls. I mean, I ain't, and, and they ain't bad about swap. You know, swap friends or, or, or sisters, whatever the case is. I I, I swipe. <laughs> sometimes you may not get it back. <laughs> I mean, not by me, but I'm just saying. You know, but I'm just saying. I that that's I ain't gonna lie. That's not bad bad advice. But like I said, that jean dim and collar. Why that remind me of some lady with a fanny pack that we're wearing? I'm just saying it just kind of. And then she had that necklace, charm necklace on top of it. So it kind of, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. No. That's all I have to say about that. But when they were doing the swap, whatever, before we got to the serious part, I noticed they zoomed out Daisy's apartment when they did this because they were talking about, you know, Michael Mac says, you know, because somebody I think had a Louis Vuitton a purse. And she's like, you know, she has so much stuff. She don't use, you know, wear your Louis Vuitton anymore. And um, so... Somebody heard, and most likely was Daisy, that decides to bring up this comment. But they, like I said, they zoomed out for an apartment. You know, well, who wears Louis Vuitton more? Well, Demetria does. Like I said, what is your grudge still towards Demetria so bad? Girl gone. Like I said, I'm trying to get, stop point, but the nickname will come back after that second, okay? Forget it. I mean, before we get to serious stuff, her name is Dan Line Weeds, okay? Because she showed, like I said, Dan Line also Dan Line Weeds, okay? Now I'm not going to call her that no more for the rest of this review, okay? So, there, Michael admits, you know, well, well, first Melissa tells us about the stories that she wants to be able to have, you know, the whole nine yards with everything from just being married and having children, okay? She wants to have that. And she was saying, because her parents were together to the day her father had passed away, God rest his soul, when she was 16 years old, and she, I guess she had a close relationship with her father. And so... But and she, but her father was in a drug induced coma. You know I don't know what he had died from, but she never got a chance to say goodbye to her dad. And, you know there were so many questions unanswered. So she was you know kind of having a moment. And then Michael admitted that her father is about to pass. He thinks she's been diagnosed with I think pediatric cancer. I don't know if I'm saying correctly, but he is about to pass. So she's just dealing with the fact is. Her parents actually divorced when she was four years old, and her father has always been not really a good dad, and um, 
she was saying he was always emotional abusive to her. Like I said, unfortunately, this is the problem. Whereas, now I don't know. I, I got to look up the terms. I'm sorry I didn't do this, y'all, before I um I did this review. But you know, there's a difference now. Either from my, but based on what we've seen all this episode, either is suffering from either drug uh, uh, dependency or alcohol or drug dependence. I mean, not drug dependence, but alcohol dependency or alcohol abuse. And I, I'm sorry, I forgot, y'all. I should have looked it up before I did this review. But one of them, I think, I think it's dependency. I don't know for sure, y'all. I ain't going to sit here pretending that I remember. Um, the one has to do with withdrawals. You know, that's the only difference between them. You know, it's not really that much different. But whatever it is, there's a problem. So, but that may explain why some of the issues and maybe some of the reasons why the man that she chooses to have because she's never dealt, got a chance to talk to somebody about it. Like, talk, talk, she made a talk to a professional about what is going on with her or whatever, or 12 says, whatever, but it is something wrong. Because she said her father, sometimes she'd say, you're just like your mom. Your mom only had to use a vest because her dad came from a, 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 a you know, her, her dad came from a wealthy family. But she said also her dad was in a situation where she can understand why he could never love because he grew up messed up. So he ended up treating her mess. That's why he could never be a good dad, be a good husband, just whatever, okay? So it is it's kind of a sad moment. So she's debating and wondering should she go see him, you know, you got Melissa and both Daisy trying to encourage Micah, Micah to go see her you know, her dad. And she's kind of like hesitant, or whatever, because like I said, she hasn't spoken about a year. And it turns out like I think beforehand she didn't really communicate that much about what I could have sworn that she say ten years or something like that. And or something it was quite some time. And then when she finally sat there and um did take care of him, she ends up Saying like towards the end of the summer, you know, like she took care of him when she, like two years ago when he was diagnosed when he started getting real sick. He was all saying like, you know, she he was trying to accuse her that she was taking her he was she was taking his stuff or whatever. But you know, her way of dealing with stuff is also not just with the liquor, but explains her over top, you know, kind of like a cover up. Like you know, if y'all ever pay attention, if y'all you know like watch some comedians or people who are very funny and some of them mask, you know, like the comedy. For a lot of pain that they're suffer or seen, and I've seen a lot of you know a lot of comedians usually not all the time, but some of my favorite I'm not gonna say like favorites. I have a lot of favorites, but I do notice that it masks a lot of pain. And she says that her father was a funny person, and so that's why she keeps up a reunion. She say laughter is best medicine. So that's what you kind of just see a lot of why we make her why why she kind of is the way that she is. So I just hope that. You know, keep the prayers that, you know, she'll be able to get through her situation. But Daisy does offer to pray for her. And she's saying you're a good person and just praying, you know, to help her, you know, with this thing. So she still is deciding whether or not she wants to see her dad before he, I guess, because I'm not taking the medication or whatever. But there's a very, very strong chance he's about to pass away. So, anyways. Um, like I said, they end up talking. Around that same time, Demetri, I think this is sort of the next scene where you got another scene. Melissa and Daisy are talking. And Daisy, again, is doing some more work. And um, Melissa's doing a party. I don't know if this is Memorial Weekend or Labor Day Weekend. I don't know. But there's, you know, there's supposed to be something that happens. But Melissa, she realized the real reality is, since she's not making money and real, still doing a real estate thing already at that time, She's going to still be hosting parties. She's like, she doesn't still want to be doing that, but then, you know, she get five G's per time, you know, per, per um, you know, doing these club appearances and stuff, hosting these parties. So she's like, well, you know, I got to make ends do whatever the case is. That's also why she did the swap, um, swipe and swap, whatever that party was, um, with Daisy and Mike or whatever, because she said now, ever since, you know, with the situation with her income now, she gotta be a little bit more frugal. So she's like, she understands and whatever. She's be sacrificed bad all the time, blase, blase, whatever, you know. And, uh, Benita, uh, Benita, and Demetra are, you know, like I said, talking about the bit. And Michael's still going despite the thing with her father's situation. And, you know, they end up also talking about Michael. They just worried about her behavior because that's how much out of control I guess she was compared to Melissa. You know, Melissa, you know, was slightly a little bit not too far away from Michael, okay? But uh, make Michael's usually the one that's more tough than anybody on a regular basis because they did. They did a flashback of her when she fell when, you know, like I said, uh, Miss um, uh, um, Daisy had to sit there with the, with the microphone and have this little, you know, event, whatever. 
and you know fell and we found out I thought she fell from just tri tripping or something or whatever because I think she had a long ass dress and it turns out it was from this alcohol that's how much she is she drinks to the point is she loses balance and everything else so um you you got that going such a mean trip but like I said need to say she's over you know she's gotten over you know even though she's frustrated because that was a business a business you know she there was neck you know, people she was networking with, it was, you know, even though I was a party, that really technically was a business event. And on top of that, her boss was there. So, like I said, you know, you got Melissa sitting up there, turn, you know, doing tra uh, doing trampolines on the pillow, and I already scammed by Micah, uh, Micah and her behavior. And, you know, we said she's over it, but I, I, I could have sworn, I don't know if she said she was over also Melissa with her, um, with her mess, because she's sitting up here talking, you know, talking about, uh, Melissa, you know, all of a sudden she just put her on blast. So she was with Melissa when she tr she had insufficient fun. Her car got declined. Little messy. I'm just saying. I don't know what what else was said, but it was just out of nowhere. Gonna even decides to tell Demetria and tells us in the professionals that she her car was declined. That's probably the reason why she's in there hosting parties. And Demetria said, "I'm cool with Melissa. She even though I know what she's trying to put this one, she's trying to get out of that lifestyle. She's like, I'm cool with her. She go peeps in here. I ain't got nothing to do with her. But like I said, she still got." Whatever reason I had to expose that information, I'm just like, damn, I'm not, she must, did she call you a bitch on the long summer? I'm just saying, no. But yeah, it was just kind of a wild card sometimes, person, person to me. So, you know, you know, I was starting like I was hurting the Vegas, Jamitri was starting to, um, you know, got past that BS, but it was kind of like I just thought it was like a little bit, I don't, I don't know why she brought information about Melissa listed, but Melissa, did Melissa say something about her out loud blaster? But I, I didn't see it. Is there bonus clips? Anyway, so we got here, we fast forward to Daisy, and I'm like I said, I'm going to look at it like this. Even though people, you know, this might be considered born, she's looking for assistant. assistant, she had to talk about the last assistant, had a pink bandana, blah, 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 Zay, so she had to get rid of her, so she has so much going on, she's trying to, she's doing like a test a trial test or whatever to see if this girl's going to do an internship, and she's do, she does also do an online fashion uh, thing which some people could debate like well how the hell is she going to give somebody else fashion when she can't even dress the damn self up I mean depending on what you think about but there's some people they can do better you know can do uh, other people they can do this advice and all and when it comes to self you know it, it's different and so you know <laughs> I'm just saying so it's about you know basically making over real people women and making them up to them up to celebrities and the fast forward like I said at first it was like might have been a red flag because the girl was supposed to make Color copies of Mariah because the, the her friend who coincidence also names Mariah is supposed to be for this internet show, and she ends up, you know, doing a proof because she was able to get these bras the last minute, whatever. Blah blah blah. Fast forward, you know, she, you know, not that bad. Whatever the case is of the, the thing, but like you know, but like I said, I ain't gonna be bad. I get those get the coins. I may not stand you, but you know, get get your coins, uh, uh, um, Daisy. Okay, so just fast forward, we just had that kind of feel, because like I said, this second time in a row with Daisy, you know, last time was a dad, you know, since you're understandable, but, you know, we were trying, Daisy again has not, again, attended another event, so I guess most of the time, maybe we're supposed to see her on her business side, like, I got too much to do, and I forgot to tell y'all, even when she was having, now again, here's another reason why she's hesitant about the relationship thing, um, she was just saying about, I think, I could have sworn she said something about the divorce had did affect her as well. You know, she's close with her father now. She just doesn't know for sure about getting in a relationship. Again, and just again, whatever the reason is, um, she, she always keeps making reason or, or her career or something. This and this is always a reason why she can't seem to find about it. Okay, next. So we fast forward into... Mike finally before then she goes to Hampson. Taryn also also known as maybe depending on what you think about manservant. She does go because her father is what in DC and she goes to go see him because I think they're gonna pull the plug and I think the hospital had called her to at least see him one more time and she was of course was kind of hesitant, you know. And of course before they even go to the hospital she has to have a drink and she has to mind as the confessionals. Oh, I don't need, I don't need, you know, like, basically, I don't need drinks and stuff like that. You know, whatever. I just needed for repair me for what was about to happen. But every day, based on what we see it, when we watch the show, you always need wine to repair for something happens. When you wake up, when you go back to sleep, when you brush your teeth. I'm just saying, you know, it's quite a bit of time for it to prepare her for something that's about to happen. And so, she sat there, and, um... 
was was basically saying that uh she um was a uh, you know, did see her father. So, like I said, she had to get a drink before they go. And she was sitting here saying um, that um, um, afterwards about what her father, she just, you know, I don't think she's going to see because I think they were going to pull the plug the next day afterwards. So she sat there and basically was just upset. But, you know, she said her father just looked at Cole when she was trying to, like, you know, do this to him and stuff like that. And he just had this evil look on her face. But, you know, you, you, um, look on his face. And she just... You know, realized well. Part of it was like, I guess, was like having closure. So God bless her in that aspect and everything going on with her father and you know whatever. So I mean, that was just kind of a sad moment. But of course, she had to get some more wine after leaving the hospital. And so, like the fast forward, kind of last thing was the ladies getting ready. Now you got Bree. Um, what was it? Bree? And they're supposed to be staying in her family's house in the Hamptons. And you got. Greg, you know, Demetrius' fiance and Demetria and Geneva, they're all supposed to be riding together um, to the Hamptons. And they all kind of were concerned and worried about, you know, Micah going or is she going to be acting a damn fool because we have her drinking from. And she has a personal dr uh, driver, you know, they never have him, you only just see the side of here and you never hear him actually talk. It's like you always hear him talking to her. Now she had to stop already at some liquor store to get about, she made a couple bottles of wine. And then she calls her cousin, y'all, on the way to the Hamptons and is making up suggestions about, I guess, what drinks that. So even then, she already drank, or started drinking a cup while she was in the car. And then, you know, sat there and had to go to her cousin's. And when she got out to go to the Hamptons, um, she sat there and had, you know, we see a whole empty wine bottle in the thing. And like I said, it's not cool because when she got dropped off, you know, or her, her driver, whatever, waited. Because um, she went by herself. She didn't have her, her man with her this time, right? So she sat there and, you know, had to go even to get some more drinks at the cousin's house. And then we just sitting here like, what the heck? Because, you know, you got Demetra and, you know, Greg and, Bri Bri, you know, um, and been even talking about just a bit like the house rules. She just like just keep the house like the way it should be, blah blah blah. And they waited for Michael because she's arriving late. And you know, they're sitting here. If she don't come in two moments, they're gonna go out, get changed, and just go out and get something to eat, you know, go to dinner. And so at the end, it ends, I guess, a supposed cliffhanger that you know, when she gets there, obviously she must have changed to the cousin's house. But she even is starting to walk sweat, like you already know, she just kind of you know, swerved, drunk as hell again. Uh, we about to get part two, what we just seen the other night and the night before. Uh, so it kind of ends like that. And we see the next episode that um, it is not going to be pretty. Even Demetri going to come charge to somebody, somebody trying to hold her back. And something is just all this editing. Do dude, dude, you know how to just black in, black out in between the, scene, sec between the scenes and like two seconds, boom, boom, the edit and stuff like that. So that's how pretty much it ends. I don't think too much else had happened. And I will definitely see y'all next episode, most likely nine times in ten. I mean, I will, you know, definitely be doing Love and Hip Hop um, tonight or no later, probably no later tomorrow. But all right, y'all have a pleasant week, a pleasant weekend, a pleasant night. Y'all all take care. And I'll definitely see y'all next video. Bye-bye.